Welcome back to Hugo, my name is Eric, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at three kitchen essentials that I can't live without. My wife Jennifer and I love to cook, and over the years we've identified three kitchen essentials that have really made cooking easier and most importantly, enjoyable. First, let's talk about knives, specifically knife sharpeners. I'm sure all kitchens have at least one knife, but it's not always guaranteed that a kitchen has a sharp knife. Uh, it's important to remember that a sharp knife is a safe knife. Dull knives require more pressure to cut, increasing the chances that the knife will slip. For knife sharpener options, you can either go the analog whetstone route or you can go with an automated electric setup. Whetstone sharpening is an art form in and of itself and I'm envious of the people who can achieve good results as I personally have never been able to get them. Therefore, my sharpener of choice is this electric sharpener from WorkSharp. This is their E5 Professional Knife Sharpener. This has made sharpening knives easy and I can constantly get a sharp, durable edge. The E5 uses a three-step process, shape, sharpen, and refine. All phases are timed and all you have to do is pull the knife through until time runs out. To ensure consistent results, the unit comes with sharpening guides that are set up for a double bevel, 17 degree angle to be exact. Any angle between 17 and 20 is usually what you're looking for as it achieves a good balance between sharpness and durability. Unless your knife is in really bad condition, most knives will only need to go through the sharpening stage. Double tap to set the sharpener to sharpen. Rest the heel of the blade on the plastic rollers and keep the side of the knife against the sharpening guides. Slowly draw the knife back, alternating from side to side as you finish each pass. Repeat until the machine automatically turns off and in 90 seconds you'll have a knife that cuts better than it did new. The edge you're left with cuts through tomatoes with little to no effort and dicing up an onion feels less like a chore. All right, next let's go over how to organize these little things. Obviously, kitchen organization is really important as a clean kitchen is an efficient kitchen. Since everyone's kitchen is unique, I'm going to just go over a couple of my personal favorite organization accessories. Our main focus when it comes to kitchen organization is simple keep the countertops open so all of our efforts go into optimizing drawer storage solutions. Traditional knife storage is usually a wood block that lives on the countertop. We found this bamboo and cork knife organizer that sits nicely in a drawer and protects the blade edge. For spices, my wife found this simple solution. These are spice drawer liners. The liners are cut to size and have a small divot that cradles the spice jars. We've gone through quite a few spice organization solutions and I have to say this by far is my favorite. Since we cook a lot, being able to get a quick bird's eye view of our spices makes it easy to find the exact spice we need and also we can take inventory of the spices we have and see which jars need to be refilled. Last but not least, we have the coffee drawer. This might not apply to everyone, but I think the techniques used to organize this drawer can be applied to other drawers. Also, I'm just really happy about the way this turned out. Bespoke organization solutions exist for commonly used kitchen tools, but for the odd shape tool, finding a good organization solution can be difficult. I, I found that tool organization solutions transfer over to the kitchen seamlessly, to organize this drawer, I used a product called Tool Grid. The grid is a blank slate. They sell plenty of accessories that fit most kitchen tools, even if they have an irregular shape. Things like milk pitchers, weird shape wrenches, and miscellaneous accessories all have a neat and tidy dedicated home in this drawer. Yes, I get this is a bit obsessive, but good kitchen and organization makes staying clean less of an endeavor. Last but not least, we have the greatest kitchen accessory. This is the Instant Read Thermometer. If you're just starting to cook or are a professional, 
the instant read thermometer is the only accessory that can guarantee perfectly cooked food every single time. If you can't quite nail the touch test for steak or you're like me and never trusted the juices running clear to indicate a cooked chicken, this is the accessory for you. Using an instant read thermometer is a systematic way to get consistently good results and ensure your chicken is never dry again and that your steak is always the perfect medium rare. Also, you never have to worry about undercooking food either. Following internal temperature guidelines ensures bacteria like E. coli or salmonella is no longer present in your food. Using the thermometer couldn't be easy. Simply open up the probe, insert it into the thickest part of your food and take a temperature reading. If the temperature reading is within five degrees of your internal temperature, then you are done cooking and you'll know that the food is perfectly cooked. Consolidating all the kitchen tools I used down into just three essentials was difficult, but these are the three things that I use on the daily. If you'd like to see more essential lists like these, don't forget to subscribe. You can also sign up for my newsletter down below. This will give you a curated themed list of my essentials every two weeks, as well as an inside look into what I'm currently working on. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.